Hey guys, it's Thanksgiving 2018 and uh, I've had a, a video, uh, really this channel was made for just me and my family, but it, uh, it kind of blew up and I guess one of my videos got caught on by Google on some kind of ad or something and blew up and I kind of have thousands of uh, likes and comments now from you guys on that video, but it's an older equipment video and I've gotten a lot of new stuff since then, so I just decided I would give... Uh, Kind of a, a system tour. Uh, I, I've been sitting here this evening after filling my face with turkey watching you guys' video of your systems and uh, I got excited and kind of motivated to do one for you guys. So uh, it's nothing that's professional or polished but I just wanted to share with you guys a video where you can sit and enjoy the walkthrough of what I've built through time. And we all uh, have a passion for our systems and, uh, and uh, only we would understand. Uh, what we go through to get to these uh, heights of what we really aspire to get the absolute sound for. So uh, enjoy the video. Now, I'll start with my speakers. These are Sonus Faber Venere S's, and they have a really nice sound, and they are extremely, how can I put it, in any kind of tweak that I put in the system, these things pick up. So uh, they're, they're, I really enjoy the sound and they have definitely grown on me as I've added new cables and, and uh, tweaks. They, they've really stepped up the game on what they perform for a $5,000 speaker. These are 4 ohm, and uh, obviously I have no, no problem running them with the equipment that I have here. Uh, my system, as far as what it's powered by, is a Macintosh MA7900, and uh, this is not at all analytical or over warm. It's such a perfect balance of detail, textures, or an organic sound. Uh, it's just it's just a really well-balanced piece. I've listened to a lot of different amps, and I really settled on Macintosh because not only audibly, but visually, it just captured you know my affection as far as uh, an artful piece as well as a beautiful sounding piece. Uh, this is the Yunkin. Uh, SD-CD3, it's a tube buffer, and I am running Shug Wang treasure tubes. I've tried uh, Electro Harmonics, uh, Cryo Treated, uh, Tongue Souls, but I, I, I really like the sound of these black treasures, and I know a lot of you guys do too. So that's going out of the, uh, that's going out of the integrated amp pre-outs uh, into here and then out. And I am using uh, Kimber Select all the way through. Uh, these are my babies. They just really up the game on sound quality. And uh, I'm using those uh, RCA single-ended uh, uh, from the amplifier and back into it from the pre-outs to, to the ends. Uh, power cables are PS Audio. And uh, also on my CD player, I do have a Kimber cable uh, Palladian. So the speaker cables are also Kimber cable and these are the monocle, I'm sorry, the bifocal X's. And I also have uh, Cardos uh, blocks uh, and uh, dark field elevators by Shinyata as far as keeping the uh, cables off the carpet. No static and no vibration. My uh, line conditioning, uh, this is an older piece. It's the Power Director 3.5. I love this thing because it has the uh, ultimate outlets in it. And that uh, goes from the wall into this. And then uh, as far as my heavy duty power conditioning, I have a P10. And this is pretty amazing. The, the black uh, backgrounds I get, just the noise floor is incredibly low with this. Uh, you can demagnetize the system. You can change the waveform. Um, I'm running it in a, in a sine wave right now. I don't know if you guys can see that screen, but uh, it's a very, very, very clean setup as far as uh, uh, conditioning the power from the wall. Now, this is my baby. I got into vinyl again um, and went and got, I'm 48 years old, so I went out and got a lot of my old vinyl I used to have when I was younger, ZZ Top, Deep Purple, um, uh, Men at Work, uh, 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 what else? I mean, just so many different, you know, Frankie Goes to Hollywood, uh, Super Tramp, Breakfast in America. I just love going back and getting all my old vinyl again from when I was uh, 13, 14 years old. And uh, then this is my baby. Now, I'm doing something really unique here. 
I'm actually running two turn uh, platter mats and I experimented with a lot of different ones and ended up with a Herbie's audio mat at the bottom that couples to the acrylic platter. And then I have the uh, Real Ale uh, Gold Ring mat <clears throat> on top. Of course, I adjusted the uh, VTA and all that um, on the tone arm when I did that. But, uh, and then the uh, cartridge is a Audio Technica uh, EV33. Very good sound, very well balanced, not too bassy. The highs are really smooth, a lot of detail. Voices sound amazing in the mid range. So I ended up with this cartridge uh, uh, upgrade. I didn't like the cartridge it came with. And this is a low output moving coil as well. I'm also running the Kimber Select um, out of here. These are the coppers, by the way, not the silvers. And uh, it just really up the game from the cables to the cartridge to the platter mats. And also under everything, I have still points, the original volcano style still points under everything. And uh, I've never had such a tweak change my system so much. If you move these things to the outside, uh, they get uh, the system gets brighter. You move them in, they get warmer, uh, forward or back, more detail. It, it's crazy. These things are like tuning forks under every piece of equipment. Anybody who has still points and they just set them under there and leave them, don't. Because you can actually uh, slide the equipment around on these and change the whole tone of your system. Uh, the CD player is older in the early 2000s, but it's just done everything I asked it to do. Um, it's the MVP 861. There are a couple uh, CDs that that have kind of like a skipping in them or something like that, but out of the hundreds I have, only a few do it. And and the sound out of this is, again, top notch. Uh, what I did here is I did add still points. Again, it has that upgraded um, uh, Kimber cable power cord that really brought this thing to life. And I am using also the selects on this. I'll get back here and show you. And it's the uh, balanced on this one, the, uh, the select copper again. So uh, that does all the duties for them, for my digital work. I'm not doing streaming. I'm not doing any external decks. I really enjoy, you know, kind of the old school, just CD and vinyl. That's it right now. And I'm also running a Martin Logan Abyss for the sub on this thing. And uh, I'm just running some Kimber Cable PBJs on this. I haven't upgraded the, the RCs on that yet, but everything else is select <coughs> in my system. So that is it. I'm going to play a little snippet for you. Uh, um, some CD. This is a friend of mine, uh, Dirk K. He, he plays in town here in Las Vegas and he has some CDs, actually a song on the radio right now. I love his stuff. So I'll just give you a little sample of that right now.
guys. Uh, sorry if I, my hands were shaking a little bit there, but I'm still full of turkey. And uh, next time I'll give a, a little rundown on my, my theater system and all that. Uh, but uh, anyway, I enjoyed finally getting this to you guys. And, uh, you know, again, it's not perfect, but at least it ties in with what's updated and new in my system instead of everybody going to that old video that, uh, you know, was picked up by Google and everybody was going to. Now you guys can see the new stuff. So I'll talk to you on the next upgrade. Take care now.